Hi guys, Alex TV Stoy here. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, if you're new here, then thank you so much for joining me today. And uh, I'm so glad that you stumbled upon my humble abode. Um, and if you have been subscribed to me, then thank you so much for being subscribed because you make this little part of my world that's called my YouTube channel. And I thank you a million thanks for that. Um, today I'm going to be doing a guitar tutorial, which I have not done in a very long time, but I'm going to be doing it today. And from next month forward, I'm going to be doing two tutorials per month. And it's going to be um, one guitar tutorial and one ukulele tutorial per month so that you can get the best of both worlds because if I delve myself into both, you can too. And I will show you what I know. Um, now, where were we? Right, today we're doing a guitar tutorial. So, I need to get teacher mode on. Wait but a second while I prepare. Hello, I'm Alex E. Stoy, and I will be your teacher today. Today, we're going to be learning how to play O Come to the Altar on acoustic guitar. Though I'm sure if I knew how to play electric guitar, I would teach you that too. Now, because my voice is more of a medium voice, it doesn't go super duper low, but it also can't go super duper high. It's more of like a medium range. I have put my capo on capo two. If you decide to put your capo on capo two because your voice is in the same range as mine, go for it. But what I'm why I'm saying is if you do have a lower voice that can play can that can sing when you are singing natural without capo, then go for it. None, none of the chords that I will be showing you will be affected by the capo. This is just as if it started from here. So do not worry if you are not using the capo. It will be the exact same finger on the exact same string on the exact same fret as you would do it if you're playing natural. So let's get started. This song has four chords in it. G, C, E minor, and A minor. These chords are really, really simple, and I will just show you how to play with play them. So, G chord has your first finger on the second fret, on the second string. I probably should have said your first finger on the second string on the second fret. Your third, your second finger on the first string on the third fret, and then your third finger on the sixth string on the third fret. And it sounds like this. If you're playing natural, it'll sound a little bit lower, a little bit more transposed, but it'll basically sound around the same tone. Um, chord C is going to be your first finger on the fifth string on the first fret. Um, your second finger on the third string on the second fret, and then your four, your third finger on the second string on the third fret, and it sounds like so. And then you've got E minor, which is really, really, really simple because both of your fingers that you will be using go on the same exact fret. So, you're going to be putting your first finger on the second string on the second fret, and then your second finger on the third string on the second fret, and it sounds like this. And 
then we have one more chord which is a minor and that one is your first finger on the fifth string on the first fret your second finger on the third string on the second fret and then your your third finger on the fourth string on the second fret and it sounds like this and so that being said um you can definitely replay this video as many times as you want in order to get what i just said um but i'm going to be talking about strumming pattern next because lots of people struggle with strumming pattern while i have always had a musical ear and i can always pick up a strumming pattern and copy it um other people have a trickier time doing it so i'm just going to show you how the strumming pattern goes and yeah so this is this is how the strumming pattern goes it goes you'll go twice down and then you'll go like a one two one two strumming pattern so you'll go one one two one two and then it'll change the chord and go one one two one two and then it'll keep going so i'm gonna sh gonna show you how the chorus will sound and then we'll end the video so Come to the altar, the Father's arms are open wide, forgiveness was bought with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. So, I hope that this tutorial was helpful to you. I'm done being your teacher for today, um, but I definitely look forward to when my next tutorial is and helping you play a song then. Until next time, um, bye and I hope to see you again.